also Porsche's cult. The fans have been addicted to cars from Zuffenhausen, Germany for over five decades, and that with heart and soul, particularly the rear motorized sports cars. The Porsche 1960 356 Super, one of the founders of the Porsche myth. The 1960-63 sports convertible delivers 75 horsepower in the average power level, and top speed, a respectable 175 kilometers an hour. But where did the big bang of the Porsche brand take place, and where were the first Porsches created? Classic ride on a mission, looking for Porsche clues. Of course, adequately traveling in the classic Porsche convertible. In the picturesque village of Gmund in Austria, there's a small but beautiful private Porsche museum, founded by a man who witnessed the beginnings of the Porsche brand up close as a young boy, experiences that shaped him for his future life. My first car was a Porsche 356, which I bought in 1957. I prepared the car over the winter. I had my people who helped me. I was not a carpenter or mechanic, but I knew what I wanted. The first Porsche is a kind of cornerstone for a small collection. Soon, collector Pfeifhofer ordered everything Porsche. In addition to local antiques, the creation of a museum is in the air. My wife said, a local museum, which was the basic idea that there is in every village. Open a Porsche museum here, because I had a lot of interesting things. And then I said, well, a Porsche museum. Up until then, I couldn't afford that, but later? At that time, 1980, I always had money, and then it started. Antiques out and Porsche in. It took two years and on my birthday, May 18th, 1982, the museum was opened. The focus of the collection is the original Porsche, the 356, like this rare 1952 kink coupe as it is known in expert language. Even amongst friends, this piece of jewelry in good condition is not traded under 100,000 euros. In the 70s, the 356s were not loved as a used car. There I can't think back because I scrapped at least 10 cars. I had no more room. The cars were stacked up on top of each other in the aisle because 20 centimeters was missing from the ceiling. We had to cut off the roof of a car and put it in the wrong way round. Then later, the cars were again in the way. In the municipality, there was an open gravel pit and the owner said, throw the car in it. I will fill the hole. I cannot even think about it now. The cars then cost nothing at the time. This white 356 convertible, which was once owned by Gemünde Castle gentlemen, has kept Pfeifhofer happy. The small town of Gemünde has another important role for the Porsche brand. A small, unassuming shack on the edge of the Malta Valley Road. Without a sign, you wouldn't realize the importance. This cabin at the end of the Second World War was the first Porsche design office. Hard to believe, and this model, which would later be built in Stuttgart, originated here in Austria. The 356 is partly responsible for the current Porsche cult, the driving pleasure, unique and individual, 75 horsepower and low weight, allow the classic to swim easily in traffic. In 1950, Porsche leaves Gmünd and produces its vehicles in Stuttgart from then on. The building in Gmünd deteriorates, and in the 80s, Pfeifhofer recognizes the historical value and saves it from demolition. My parents had and worked a field 500 meters from it, and before the administration building, which still stands now, there was a draw well. I collected water from there because you get thirsty from working in that field. 
I couldn't leave there for half or three quarters of an hour because due to the simplicity of the operation, they also had the operation outdoors. I then watched with enthusiasm and also saw various prototypes there, such as the Berlin Rome car. I was interested in everything other than to go back to the field and sweat. During the war, the Porsche engineering office here went back to Gmünd in order to work on Disturbed. Father and son Porsche work on various projects, such as engines and complete vehicles, but also ski lift drives. The various projects are numbered with three digits for convenience. And shortly after the war, Professor Porsche is taken into custody because he developed for the German war effort. And during this time it happened, the Big Bang of the Porsche sports car brand. Very Porsche used this time in Gmünd to decide, now I am going to build a car. He was present at all the design and test drives, but without his strong father, he couldn't realize anything. The result, the first car that drives on roads under the name Porsche, a small roadster with a construction number 356. Here in an early test drive along with an MG. In comparison, one is immediately struck by how futuristic the first Porsche must have appeared at the time. Unusual, the Porsche number one does not carry the engine in the rear, as with the later models, but it is centrally located directly behind the driver. Porsche almost incidentally invents a road sports car with mid-engine. While the Porsche is enthusiastic, they begin with the construction of customer vehicles. Again, one relies on used Volkswagen parts from an army camp. There one took out useful parts and brought them to the factory in Gmund, then worked with these. Those were the front and rear axles, engine and transmission. Even with our car with the number 20, the steering wheel is from a Jeep. The rivet rims also come from the Jeep in the size of 5.0 by 16, so these narrow tires. It was the beginning here in Gmund. 52 vehicles were built in Gmünd by hand. A special feature of the so-called Gmünd Coupés, the body is made of aluminum and is hand-beaten. About 30 so-called Gmünd Coupés and four convertibles are still known of today, and Pfeifhofer found his copy already in the 80s. I found this Gmünd Coupé in Heinberg in a garden and purchased it for 28,000 shillings. That was 4,000 marks. At the time, I did not know what I had. Today, you cannot pull a value on it. The cult of the Porsche brand has driven prices up powerfully, and today, for a good 356 convertible, 100,000 euros or more are asked for. Just like Porsche enthusiast Helmut Pfeifhofer, one should have started earlier with the collection. At the beginning of the 60s, the star of the fledgling sports car really rises. 